Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to be doing another lipstick declutter as you can see. I have all my pink lipsticks sitting here in front of me and we're about to go through them. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of them and then we're going to declutter um, as we go. Before we get started, I did wanna warn you guys real quick. It is now officially summer vacation finally for my children. So they are downstairs playing with a bunch of uh, their friends from the neighborhood. So you are most likely gonna hear them in this video. They're pretty loud playing Twister. So. Um, and in future videos, expect to hear them for the next few months because they're home and they are uh, very active young girls. So anyway, if you hear them, that's what's going on. All right, before we get started with this little pile, I do have two um, pink lipsticks that were in projects for the year. So I want to do these separately so I don't get confused. The first one is this from MAC. This is MAC Snob. I love this color. I've been wearing it a lot recently because I have an update on my, um, on my uh, what is it called? I do have an update on that project coming. Now, the, it's funny because the swatch, it looks like just a very neutral pink, but on my lips, it looks like fluorescent bright pink. It's funny how bright it looks on my lips, but I do really love this color. I do wear it a lot, and it's part of a project, so definitely keeping that. And the other shade that I had in my project is for, from Pure Cosmetics. This is the shade Ever After. This is actually um, a liquid lipstick, and it's you know, pink, I had a hard time separating pink because some of these like more mauve purpley pinks, I still called it pink. So there's some that might kind of fill, fit in more than one category. And with all the lip colors, you're going to see that. But anyhow, um, this is a color that I enjoy. And like I said, I'm trying to use this for a project. So that will be staying as well. All right, let's move into the rest of these. I have a bunch more MACs in this category. This is Pink Plaid from MAC. This is more of a neutral pink on me. I really love that color and it's not that old. So I'll be keeping that one. And then I do also have Girl About Town. Now this one is old. Um, this is really old, but I still really love it. I just mentioned this in a video recently, actually. It's such a great summer color. Let me smell it. Let me see if it's still good. Oh yeah, it still smells good. And I did just wear it the other day and it felt fine on the lips. So I, I will be keeping that one for a little longer. And then I also have this one, which is Long Legged and Fabulous. This is a really light pink. That one I love, and that's not too old, so that will be staying. Another Mac in here. This one is called Steady Going. Oh, it's another really beautiful shade. And not that old either, so I'm going to keep that too. Oh, this is hard. All right, I think that's it for Mac. So let's move on to some other things. Let's do this one because I know I'm going to declutter this so we can get started on the declutter. Um, this is from Lancome. This is the Juicy Matte Shaker in Pink Power. This color is just too bright. I either got this in gratis or I got it um, in PR, but I can't remember where, which way I got it. But I didn't pick this color, and this color is just too bright. Even though it is kind of more sheer and you can make it a little more sheer, I just don't find myself wanting to reach for this particular item. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter that now. It's not that old, so I can pass it on to friends and family. All right, next up I have some Urban Decay lipsticks. These are the old uh, Revolution Formula lipsticks. This one here, oh, that's such a pretty color. This is Turn On. Oh, look at that color. I love, love, love that color, and it's very different from what I've kept so far. So I will keep that. Oh my gosh, can you hear them? They're having so much fun. Uh, next I have the shade Fiend, also from Urban Decay. And this is more of like a nude kind of pink color. Definitely love that one as well. Oh my gosh, am I gonna declutter anything? I'm keeping that. All right, next I have the shade Obsessed. Oh, I like this one too. I do like this one, but it's similar to this one, but more sheer, and I feel like if I were to reach for one or the other, I would reach for the one that has a little more color behind it. So I think I'll go ahead and declutter this. Even though I really do like it, I'm gonna pass that on to friends and family because it's not old. Okay, I have one of my MAC lipsticks in here. Oh, this is Anna. I talked about this all the time in the nude one. This is one that I'm keeping. It's one of my favorites. Definitely keeping that. I love, love, love that color. Next, I have a um, Makeup Forever lipstick in the shade C106. This is more of like a nude, but I put it in the pinks. Um, I It is a nude. I really do like this. I just don't ever reach for it. And I have so many other nudes that I like that I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. I don't need that. Oh, this lipstick is so gorgeous. This is from the brand called Romand. This is kind of more of a pinky coral shade, and it actually is very similar to a Lancome one I've been using a lot, but I do love that, so I will be keeping that color. I have one, another one of these Josie Moran um, tinted lip balms. This is in the shade Grapefruit. Oh, I love the formula on these. These are so, so, so nice, 
And this is a nice kind of a sheer pink color. Definitely keeping that. I love the way that these plump. They're really, really good. Oh, I do have another Urban Decay. This is one of the new uh, formula. It, it's the shade Back Talk. This is one of my favorite shades again. I love that. So definitely keeping that one. All right. Um, this here is a baby size from uh, Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Um, you know what? This has never been used. It's never even been touched. It's um, It was the birthday gift last year, and I just know I'm not going to use that. I have too much lipstick, so I will go ahead and pass that on to friends and family before I even use it. Oh, next I have another um, NARS lip pencil in the shade Raikugan. I ended up getting rid of Cruella. This was the other half of that birthday gift. This is so old, so unfortunately this has to go in the garbage. I did use this a lot, though, as you can see. That one did get a lot of use, but it's time for that to go. Another lip balm pencil type thing that has to go. This is so ancient, I can't even tell you how old this is. So old. This is from Revlon, and this is in the shade Elusive. It's number 205. I think it says elusive. It's hard to read, but it's a pretty color. I did used to like the formula. It's not really anything special, to be honest, um, now that I've found more things that I like better, but that's super old and has to go in the garbage. Here is some more super old products. I talked about these Milani lip flashes in my red lipstick declutter. I love the formula of these, and look how cool this is. Like, oh my god. Please, Milani, please hear me and bring these back. These are so good, but they're super old and I have to get rid of them. But they were just like such an intense metallic lip crayon. They're really cool. I've never tried anything like them. I kept them for a long time, even though I haven't been using them just because I still wanted them. But unfortunately, these have gone bad. And I have another shade here. But look how neat these are. Oh, please bring those back. They're so good. So good. Those have to go in the garbage, though. Okay, I have another like lip... Um, crayon type product. This is from ColourPop in the shade Oh Snap. Oh, this is more of a nude. I thought it was more pink. I actually really like that color though. That's a nice color. So I think I will keep that. It's not old. All right. Any more lipsticks? Yes. Here is one from Wet n Wild. This is in the shade, shade Mauve out of here. Okay. Yeah, this is super old too. And oh, it definitely feels dried out. It's a really nice color. I really loved this color. It color. I just, um, unfortunately have had it too long. So that needs to go in the garbage as well, but they still sell these. So I could definitely replace that if I really wanted to. Um, this one here is called think pink. Okay. That one doesn't, that one smells like it's still good. I haven't had this one quite as long. And even though it says it's called think pink, it's more of like a nude coral shade. I don't know about that shade name, but that's really pretty. I will be keeping that. All right, the next lipstick I have, this is from Bella Pierre. This is in shade pink. Um, you know, I don't like the formula on this. I never really was a fan of the formula. It just is not super long wearing, and I don't know. It's just not my thing, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. But we got another Wet n' Wild one. This is in the shade Wine Room. Oh, so this one is new. Um, I had this shade, and it got old, so I replaced it. So this is a new one. And look at that. It's so, so pretty. Love that. So definitely keeping that one. Here we go. We got another lip pencil. This is from Lorac. This is not too old. Let's see. That's the shade right there. That's really pretty. That's the only one of these I have that's called Mauve. So I will be keeping that one. Um, next up, I have one of these Milani matte lipsticks. This has definitely got to go in the garbage. This is probably four, maybe five years old. I love it. It's super cute color. It's a good formula. Um, it's really, really nice. It's called Matte Blissful. If they still make these, I would totally repurchase that, but this one is old and needs to go. I have a Burt's Bees lipstick here. This is in the shade Tulip Tide, and this is, let me swatch this, more of a sheer pink, but it's really, really pretty. Really wearable for, like, the summertime, so I will be hanging on to that one. All right, looks like we've got one more, like, regular lipstick here. This is from Bare Minerals. It's the Pop of Passion in Passion Pink. These are a little bit on the sheer side. These are a little bit on the sheer side, but they're really comfortable and nice. And that's a pretty color, so I could definitely see myself wearing that. I will keep that. All right, I'm gonna wash my hand, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the liquid lips. Okay, I'm back. Uh, my hand is pretty stained, so I think I'm gonna swatch on this hand now, which will be hard to do with my left, but we're gonna try it. Um, so next I have a stain from YSL. This is in the shade number 47. I really like this, it's really comfortable. Um, it's nice to wear. It's a little more sheer, um, so even though it's kind of a brighter pink, I, I like wearing that one, so I will be keeping that. All right, and one more stain. This one I'm just going to get rid of. This is the Sephora Collection um, Lip Oils. They ended up discontinuing these. I ended I had a few of them, and I don't like the formula, so this one I'm going to declutter. All right, I have another one of the uh, Liquid Cat Suits from Wet n Wild. Um, I had this in another shade category. I love these. These are really, really nice formula for a drugstore liquid lipstick. It's one of the few that I actually like. 
and this is in the shade uh, pink really hard that's what that looks like and definitely keeping that um, another liquid cat suit this this is in the shade rebel rose this is my favorite one I love this color so gorgeous definitely definitely keeping that one it's hard to swatch so my swatches are coming out a little patchy but it's just cuz I'm <laughs> using my left hand here all right I have one of these um, NARS uh, what do they call these? Velvet Lip Glides. I did not like the formula of these. I do like their new ones, the Power Pigments. I like those ones, and I have one of those, but this one is in the shade Bound, the old formula. It's just not as good. It's more moussey and patchy, and it just, I don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that now. All right, you guys know I'm keeping these. I have three of the Sephora lip creams in here. This is the shade number seven. Every category that you see these, you can just expect me to keep them because I love them. That's the shade number seven, definitely keep. And then I have the shade number six. Swatch that for you guys. That's a definite keep as well. Those are really close to the same, but I still want them both because this is my favorite formula of liquid lipstick. I'm most likely, if I'm going to grab a liquid lipstick, it's most likely going to be one of these. And then I have the shade number 13. Someone asked me about this the other day. They're like, where is your shade number 13? I put it in the pink category, so that's it right there. Uh, this is my all-time favorite one. Definitely keeping that. All right, next I have another one of these uh, Pure Cosmetics liquid lipsticks in the shade Obsessed. Um, I do think these are okay, but I they're not my favorite liquid lipstick uh, formula, and since I am keeping that other shade, I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one now. I have one of the Stila's uh, liquid lipsticks in the shade Patina. This is very similar to number 13 from Sephora Collection. Like, look how close those are. They're super close, but I prefer the Sephora one, so I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter the one from Stila because I don't feel like I need both. I hope my lighting's okay, guys. It's kind of looking a little weird on my viewfinder, but hopefully you can see that. Um, so I'm going to declutter that one. And then I have another Stila one, uh, another baby size. This is in the shade Fior. This is a much brighter color. I don't know. I don't think I wear that color. Not in a liquid lipstick. I wouldn't wear that. So I'll declutter that one. Okay, and then I have this, which is... Dose of Rose. This is the Physician's Formula liquid lipsticks. I bought one of these just to try it out, and I tried it once, but I didn't get um, a lot of use out of it yet. So I need to try that a few more times so I can decide if I like the formula or not. So we'll be keeping that. And then I have one of these NYX liquid suede. I'm going to go back to this hand. I just cannot swatch on my left hand. Um, this is such a gorgeous color. This, I think, is tea and cookies. Yes, tea and cookies. I wanted to call the one I just watched the other day. But anyway, keeping that, love that one. I have a Too Faced Melted Metal lipstick. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that color. It's crazy. It's so beautiful. But definitely keeping that. It's very metallic. That is Melted Bunny. Melted Metallic Bunny. All right, so that is everything. Let's count it up. All right, so that's all I'm keeping. That's pretty good, and I'm decluttering. So I realized after filming that I accidentally put the Sephora lip creams in the wrong pile, but I did pull those out before I got rid of these. So there was actually 16 total items decluttered. Okay, so I'm super proud of how I did on that. I'll definitely be getting uh, most of these a new home except a few things that need to go in the garbage. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. I do have one more color category left for lips, which is just my miscellaneous. So all the like corals and berries and um, odd colors like grays and stuff ended up in that category. So that will be the last declutter for lips. And, um, and then we'll move on to lip gloss, I think. I think we'll go ahead and finish off with the lip gloss next time, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.